I'm Bad Poppy, gender fluid Latina drag artist and Miami's baddest poppy. This is important news about lesbian and queer women. We are the Aqua Foundation for Women, the only nonprofit 501c3 in Florida by and for LGBTQ women. Since 2004, we have been the voice dedicated to serving and supporting LGBTQ plus women. Our partnership is part of Hotspot's Happening Out Television Network's 10 Pillars of the LGBTQ plus community. Lesbians and queer women are one of those 10 pillars. We hope you will support Aqua Foundation's vital mission by sharing, volunteering, and donating. We discuss all for one and one for all. Will queer women stand for our transgender siblings? No matter how certain elements of society talk against the trans community, lesbians will always stand by their transgender siblings. The recent open letter proves it. Over 800 lesbians have signed an open letter to the Lesbian Project denouncing the trans exclusionary group as not reflective of the lives, needs, and community of lesbians. The Lesbian Project was launched earlier this month by Kathleen Stock and Julie Bindle. The open letter was also signed by singer Billy Bragg, Oxford University's student union and speak out sister. The letter said, your, quote, your advocacy does not reflect our lives, needs, and community. We believe it is built upon separation and exclusion with which we do not identify and which we condemn, end quote. Woo. <laughs> I am like so glad that they're speaking up on this because let me tell you, um, as a trans person myself, and I'm, and I, and I'm not a trans woman, um, I am non-binary, but I, e even me as a trans non-binary uh, person, I still experience the effects of what turf mentality can do, especially because they equate, you know, vagina with woman and penis with man. <laughs> like, it, there's no other room for for anything else it's always about body parts it's always about like the way that um you know i act i look i i do things like it's 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 very limiting you know and i just wish that um <laughs> the turfs out there would realize the harm that they're causing to everyone including themselves yep and yeah it Dating as a trans woman is the worst thing ever. Oh, I don't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> um, I lean more towards men, but I feel like I do have some interest in women, but I'm scared to even think about doing that because then they're going to make me into like something bad and I'm going to have to think, who is a cop going to believe? This innocent woman or me, the trans woman who's going into the bathroom and being a drag queen, you know? Of, of course, I'm being sarcastic. I want to empathize that. Like, and I think it's really difficult because I feel like I'm damned if I date men and I'm damned if I date women because men can turn that argument around too and be like, oh, she never told me. That's why I was violent with her. Panic attack. Yeah. Defense. Yeah. And I mean, it goes without saying, well, not, I'm, but I'm going to say it, the trans women in this country have been subjected to just in, insane and horrific levels of violence. Absolutely. And a lot of that comes Absolutely. back down to the patriarchy exactly. and to these ideas of, well, say you find a trans woman attractive and oh, well, all of a sudden that makes you gay and yeah, that's a bad thing. We're, we're equating all of these things which really just don't matter. Um, mm -hmm. We can't equate gender to genitalia. We can't forget about our intersex siblings exactly. who don't fit neatly into boxes of M and F and really reducing people to their genitalia isn't that what feminists were always about is we don't want to be reduced exactly. to limited by our gender and, and, I, and i'm point. talking to you as an intersex person myself it is strange what people do in order to like lift up these gender roles and gender whatever it's called in society honestly because um growing up i had high levels of testosterone I was literally forced to take hormones to basically suppress conform. my, yeah, and conform to quote unquote what it means to be a woman, even though I'm not a woman, you know? And um, that also impacts me in the sense that like, you know, I literally got things that I didn't want growing up. It's my body and yet I didn't have a choice. Yep. You know? All comes back down to bodily autonomy. I think as well, what I don't understand is when people tell me, oh, like, you don't belong in the women community and you don't belong as a woman. I have, my mind as a woman, I 
there's so many facts of womanhood. Why does having a vagina, having a period, and giving birth have to mean womanhood? There are yeah. women who don't, don't have do that. Yep. Exactly. Who don't give birth. So no. let me ask you guys, right? And and <laughs> because again, you know, I'm gonna sit on this side of the table here for a moment. All right. <laughs> I, I was thinking, I was thinking, they're the the youngins. Yeah. He is like in the middle, and then you and I are over here. <laughs> okay. So. You know, for my generation, for your generation, Karen, you know, this conversation isn't as simple as you guys are making it, right? It's just not because their our brains, not my brain, my I'm <laughs> I'm fine. But, uh, <laughs> our brains as a collective, as a whole, don't can't necessarily wrap around this idea of two spirit, of intersex of these you know even transgender the drag they can't stomach a drag queen you think they can even swallow what it, to understand transgender now i think it's like really really important to say so how because i'm not transgender so i can't be the one to write the literature that makes it easy for people the quick guide you know that comes with all <laughs> 101 the, yeah the the quick guide for those people who are it, people in my in my generation who are interested in growing as people as human beings who are are believe in that message of love and acceptance but have yeah. no idea what you're talking about. Well, you get I what think I it's mean? also reconstructing your own values of gender and what gender means to you. I think it's all about reconstruction. When we move forward and you know generations process and different things process, the only way we can move forward is by reconstructing our values and old things. Yeah, yeah and to move forward. and reconstructing is again you're asking someone to to destroy yeah. Yeah. 50 years of their life it's very hard and yeah I, and erect I, this new non-binary yeah, well, no, queer je you know well, <laughs> let me make it a little more simple i mean yeah. as a transgender person and uh, one of the hardest things to hear and it from you know your family your parents is they're mourning their daughter mm -hmm. which you're still the same person yeah you're you know and obviously people need time to come to grips and however that mm -hmm. looks right but the fact of the matter is it's a person's a person right we're the same person regardless of how we look what we do how we act how we what we call ourselves and i think that's what really comes down to it is making those human connections and talking like asking me like can you if you're comfortable do you want to would you mind sharing with me something i'm i've never quite understood this aspect i have questions you know google is your friend you may also find some really strange well, Google's not your friend, but searching and researching <laughs> yeah, is your friend. Um, and also making making friends and genuinely when when you can tell when someone has care in their heart yeah. and mm -hmm. just wants to know, not because you're a freak show, but because they care about you and want to better themselves. I, mm -hmm. I also want you to ask yourself, how do I know I'm a woman? You know, because a lot of times people are always like, oh, trans women and trans men and, and trans non-binary people. Like, how do they know? How do they know? Well, how do you know? Mm -hmm. You know, cis people also have um, a question to ask themselves and they make a choice every single day in being a cis, per uh, be presenting as a gender and being the gender that they are. So how do you know? I yeah. think I even had that point. conversation with my mom. I mean, I could answer that. <laughs> I could answer that. And this is this is what I'm saying about my mm -hmm. generation is that we can answer that because that's what we have been taught. That's what we understand. That's what we know. From the yeah. moment we pop out of a vagina, because we all come from one, well, most of us, unless you were like uh, created in a test tube or something like that. Well, what about C-sections? Yep. Or, okay, or you came out of a belly, <laughs> but you didn't come out of a womb of some sort. And um, when when I think about it like that, so from that space till now, they tell you, they tell you, well, this is your, this is, you have, you know, these parts, right? The bodily but parts. But what if you don't have those parts? But, but right. <laughs> so you have these parts, you uh, have this that happens to you every month uh you have hormones you have and when you get into new ages you i'm Things not even gonna go there okay but there's i'm not there's that things old that happen in your body as as a biologically uh you know um, female person okay 
that then tells me I'm female. Right, but and the deeper you delve into it, because women and people who are biologically, you know, live on with estrogen in their bodies, go through different phases, and at a certain point, any signifier, any descriptor you might use, might not be valid at some and, point. And not their apply life. to all I, women. For I example, think... not all women like can give birth. Not all women have periods. Not all women have low levels of testosterone. Not all women like there. There's so many generalizations that I think it's made. also yeah. about like knowing. Like me and my mom has had this conversation because my mom was like, you know, I had suspicions because I w I was a theater well, kid. So oh sorry. I would make like little things. My mom was like, why are you always a girl in everything you do? And I'm like, it's natural to me, you know? Yeah, that's a great answer, too. Um. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.